What's up, everybody? Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up taxes in your WooCommerce store. Hey there. So I'm going to show you how to set up taxes in your WooCommerce store. So right now, you probably go to the shop page and look to check out for an item. And you uh, may not see tax in the checkout. You see shipping, but you don't see tax. So in order to turn this on, <clears throat> you're gonna go into WooCommerce. In the back end of your WordPress admin dashboard, you're gonna go to WooCommerce. And then um, you don't see a taxes tab yet. And that's because um, this box right here, enable taxes, you gotta scroll down, check the enable taxes button, and then click save changes. And then when you click save changes, you'll see the tax tab appear as the third tab. And then when you do that, it'll allow you to set up your tax zones. So you'll click on the tax tab. Um, we're going to keep entering prices exclusive of tax. Calculate tax based on shipping address. Um, and then we're going to save changes. And if you need to change those settings, you can based on some information um, that you might have. And then uh, tax options, let's just look at like st standard rates, reduced rates and zero rate rates. So when you go to click on standard rates, this is where you're going to um, insert, you're gonna click insert row, cause you're gonna, um, in this case, if you're gonna charge taxes on the shipping address of the state of the store, the store's in Colorado. Um, country code, two digit country code US, two capital letters, US, state code, uh, CO for Colorado, postcode zip, um, you can leave blank to apply to all areas. So that's what we're going to do. 2.9 in. Two 2.9 percent. So that should be, should be $1 charged. Yeah, there we go. $1 and two cents. So there's your sales tax. Uh, we've got it all set up right here in this video. So, um, hopefully that helps. All right, everybody, this has been your data-driven daily tip. For more free digital marketing tips and web design tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. And if you're interested in doing business with me, if I can help you out in any way, email me at paul at datadriven.design. Thanks and have a great day.